away from the start, I can feel it in my heart, like all the way from the start. Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I have a new tutorial and we're gonna talk about mixing guitars in hip hop or urban genres. So a uh, really fun thing to mix. I uh, think it has a lot of similarities to vocals in terms of some of the processing, but you can actually get even crazier um, in terms of the creative things that you can do with guitars. Obviously amplifying and distorting, a lot of fun. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let me uh, let you hear the guitars right now just dry. This is a track that uh, I produced with uh, Jerd Beats, who he uh, played these guitars in the track and he sent them to me dry. And I'm going to show you um, how I mix them for this track, which is not just a number. Uh, but let me just play back what we have here dry. <laughs> So just some nice clean uh, strums there, nice chords. So real quickly, let's talk about how these are recorded. You're gonna notice that they are in pairs. Now these are the same uh, guitar line, but they're recorded in two separate takes. Now the reason why I get Jared to do this is it gives me a lot more flexibility creatively in the mixing process. So a couple of reasons for this would be to have some freedom in terms of stereo width if we want to do some wide panning with the takes uh, or if we wanted to do some parallel processing. All right, so let's dive into mixing these uh, first clean guitars for the verse. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix one of them for now and then I'm going to copy what we do on this channel to the other and then we can work on panning. The reason why I do this guitar rig, which is the uh, guitar processor I'm going to use, has kind of a different way of processing stereo. So anyway, let's go ahead and put the uh, the first effect on the chain here, which is going to be guitar rig. I also use Waves GTR, as well as a lot of the stock plugins in Logic. So whatever you want to use for amplifying and uh, processing your guitars, it's up to you, but this is a, a good choice. So we're going to go ahead and jump into our components. And before I add anything, I do want to uh, point out that I am using the gate up here. So we're going to just go ahead and bring this up here and uh, just get rid of any kind of unwanted noise guitars when you tend to do a DI or you're doing amplification even uh, outside and then DIing, you, you tend to get some noise. So we want to go ahead and gate that out. So the first thing I'm going to add is just a uh, compressor just to kind of keep the uh, the signal in check. I'm going to leave it pretty much where it is right now. I'll turn the sustain down a little bit. So now let's go ahead and add our uh, amplifier. I'm going to select this lead 800. And we're just going to give it just a bit of bite. This one's not going to be really distorted or anything. Uh, we're just more kind of giving this uh, a little bit of sizzle. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the preamp and the master down. So let's go down to the match cabinet. I'm going to select a different one. Let's do maybe. So pretty top heavy kind of tone, but that overall is uh, what I'm looking for in terms of the amplifier. Now, the other thing that I really like to do with clean guitars to give them some width give them a little bit of texture is to do a uh, chorus. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down here and select the, uh, the chorus flanger uh, module here. And we're gonna turn the intensity and the width down.
So just something nice and subtle there. Yeah, that sounds about right in terms of the tone. I think I'm going to need to adjust our uh, volume here. Give us a little bit more gain. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead now and do some EQ. Uh, guitars, you know, it's similar to vocals. We tend to have some low buildup that we don't want. And then guitars just tend to be really mid-frequency heavy. And they can suck out a lot of space in your mix if you're not careful. So we're going to go in and just remove some of that. I'm going to roll off a little bit more intensely on the lows as well than we would a vocal. Usually I'm more rolling off below like 200. Uh, you don't want to get too much into there because then you start to uh, get the um, the presence or the excuse me the impact of some of the low mids in the guitar. So let's just go about right there. taking out some 1k 2k and then i'm trying to just bring out any kind of uh, high-end sizzle we can get out of 5k to 10k even though it doesn't look like there's really that much there it will uh, just give us a little bit of a boost and then beyond that i think we'll probably want to add some reverb <laughs> So for that, let's just uh, use a stock reverb out of Logic. So let's just go here and let's try maybe. Um, silver verb, sure. pretty nice actually that's just a stock plug-in so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this stuff over and here's where we're gonna do some of our stereo processing and I'm gonna pan these I'm gonna say maybe like 30 and 30 let's try that turn this one up a little bit this one's a little quieter Nice. So now let's do one more thing. Let me just put a delay on just one of these. And this is going to give us a nice little effect. I'm just going to put a really quick delay. Uh, we'll leave this pretty much as is. I'm going to turn this down a little bit and we'll solo it. So that's pretty much it on the clean guitars. Now let's go ahead and move into uh, getting a little crunchy, a little more dirty on the uh, hook distorted guitars. Let me play back the distorted guitars just as they were sent to me. So 
So as you can hear, they're not processed yet. Uh, no amplification, no distortion or anything. So we're going to do a similar kind of process to what we did with the clean guitars, but we're going to get more gritty in terms of the tone we're going for with these. So again, I'm just going to process uh, them one at a time for now. So let's go ahead and go down here to this first one. And we're going to, again, put our guitar rig on here. And I'm going to adjust the gate the same way we did with the clean. And let's go over to our components. Let's go to amplifier. And where's the one I'm looking for? Actually, it's going to be a distortion. It is the screamer. So this is a pretty aggressive kind of uh, sound. It actually, I think it replicates the Tube Screamer, which was a uh, guitar pedal from, I believe it was Ibanez. And I think they still make them, but it just has a really cool sound to it. Boom, instant, grunge rock. So I just turned the tone and the drive down just a little bit. So now we're going to send that to our amplifier and we're going to use this jump. This is a cool uh, amplifier cabinet set here. So I just uh, turn our treble and our presence up. I want these to be really crunchy and wide. So now I'm gonna use this control room, uh, this cabinet, and let's go ahead and switch the cabinet model to vintage 4x12 V2. And I'm going to turn down some of the other mics here. I just want to use the 57, let's say the 421 and the 20. Yeah, that should be good. Let's try that. So I just panned the 421 uh, mic and then the uh, the 20. So using this, the uh, control room uh, cabinet here, it just gave us a, a little bit darker tone, a little bit less digital. not so in your face. Uh, so we just brought that back and that's going to just help in terms of the mix. And I'm thinking about mixing vocals over this. So just things like that to consider there. So finally, let's add a delay and let's try something in the guitar rig. It's got this cool psych delay. We'll put that in here and I'm going to keep the time about where it is. Something subtle, just fast, just to give it a little bit of width there. So then let's uh, let's hear what just that one sounds like in our mix. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm going to just copy our uh, settings over here to this duplicate and I'm going to wide pan these because I want these to be really big 
really gritty, and then we'll mix these in. Finally, with this one, uh, going back to why I process them in pairs and kind of do them as separate channels like this, I'm going to change the amp sound just a little bit so that this is going to, again, just kind of differentiate things and give us an even wider, bigger sound for the guitars. So for this one, I turned the uh, psych delay off, gave us a little bit more direct sound with our cabinets, and then we've uh, added a little bit more treble and presence, again, just to give us some contrast. So I just matched the level on that, brought the fader down a little bit. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you with mixing guitars for your hip hop beats is we have this last hook, which is kind of the climax, if you will, in uh, this track. And uh, there's a couple of other uh, distorted, crunchy guitars going on that are, that are added. And then there's now an octave lead. And so we need to try to differentiate that. And there's just a lot uh, fill in the frequency space here with the guitar. So let me just play that back without the octave right now. So now we have an octave, which is just a higher octave. And we need to figure out how to get that sitting on top of all the other guitars. So the beauty of mixing, that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and load up Guitar Rig on this channel. And let's build something custom for this octave lead that's going to help it really stand out. So first thing I want to do is just go ahead and let's uh, once again use our trusty Tube Screamer. But for this, we're going to turn it up a little bit. And then let's try a really heavy amp here. Let's try maybe the gratifier. Yeah, I like that modern, that's pretty cool. And let me go back and do our uh, control room here. That sounds pretty cool. So now I'm going to add, let's do a reverb. And so we'll select spring reverb. I'm going to take that and get rid of it. A pretty big space there. So 
I just panned it just slightly, plus five here. So let's just hear all of our guitars now with that octave on it. All right, y'all, so that is a quick look into mixing guitars for hip-hop beats. Hope this is useful for you all. Again, the great thing about mixing guitars is that you can get really creative. You can use all kinds of different effects and modules to uh, give you the tone you're looking for. And the beauty of using DI and having all these great plugins these days is the options are absolutely endless. So have fun. If you have any questions or comments about mixing guitars in your hip-hop beats, Feel free to leave a comment below. If you learn anything in the video, please like and subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Can go up, up and above all opinions. Lost the front man and my first man. Real talk, Tommy, we miss you. I'm just trying to get back to my roots. 12 hour garage days, they said I'm a fluke. And I could care less about the loot. I just want to shed the old, give the kids something new, new. You're not just a number.